Okay. Do, do, do. Let's get right into some Stardew. We're going to... I think I have to go through co-op. Play. I was like, hello? Do, 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 do. It's a little loud on my end. How's the volume on your guys' end? Let me... Let me check. Let me check for you. When the music comes back in. Oh my gosh. Also, yes, remember I spelled my name wrong. You are now hosting. I am. Or I want to be. It's trying. There it is. Um, E. How's the ball? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, it did pause. Okay. Volume seems a little loud, so I'm actually going to do this. There we go. Hopefully that's a little better. Um, okay. Let's rumble. Weather report. It's going to be sunny and beautiful tomorrow. Did I see a fortune teller? I did. Oh god, they are unhappy with me and my absolute trash attitude. Maybe it's because I look like Wednesday Adams and they're not here for it today. Um, hello dear, I know you're just getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out. Please plan ahead. Thanks, Granny. Let's not use my hoe in case I hoe up the place. <laughs> okay. We got that, I see. We got some salmon berries. Normally I'm like not here for the salmon berries. They sell for absolute rubbish. But <laughs> I'm poor. I don't even know if, I don't even have the backpack upgrade, guys. I should not be complaining about even the slightest bit of money. I guess it's extra work, so maybe I do have the right to complain, but <gasps> yeah, that's fine. Do I need to donate a green bean still? No. But I may have to keep them for something else. Um, I want quality. Just parse meat. Okay. We're going to corn it up in the next season. Do I have beans? I already have a bean in here. Okay. We're making money off my beans. Um, I have to donate that to you. Rubbish. Okay. I got a water. I was like, let's go fish. Not yet, not yet. I was like, where's my water can? Oh gosh, okay. This is the slow part, bear with me, bear with me. Whoop, whoop. Okay, we're going around, going around town. Okay, okay. Some call me the speed water. Um, I think fishing. I think fishing because we need money. Clearly, I need the backpack. The mines did just open up, but I'm not going to have any energy after I water. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're there. Shui. Okay. Oh my gosh. Go put my watering can away. It is empty. Oh, didn't anyone ever tell you to fill up the tank before you give the car back? Come on. Come on, Mal. I mean, Malay. Rude. Okay, let's go. Oh, any forage? Oh, there actually is forage. Also, you can go in exotic forage, can't you? Can't you? Yes. 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 Ye this is not it. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Ah, shoot. Um, okay. Did I? I already did the spring one, right? I'm not making that up. Yeah. Squeep. Okay. Ooh. Squeep. Ooh, I see him. Um, I also want to hoe this bad boy up. 
just because it's too close that it won't grow. Okay, let's get in here. Sleep. I also haven't gotten a letter from Grampy. Um, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Uki. Uki. Hi, Masa. Okay, now we can go to the beach. Beach, beach. I'm not bothering to pick those up. Not yet. This I will, and I will give it to somebody on my way to the beach each. So my elbow is like tired from the way I'm sitting. I know that sounds weird, but it's honest, it's true. <laughs> Is Haley up here? No. Weird. Who else likes flowers? Probably like majority of the women, except I don't think Leia does, and I, I think Abigail's neutral. I almost went through a garbage. I almost went through this one, and then for whatever reason, my brain was like, no, nah, you don't have to. Thank God I didn't. Here, Penny. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, I got a hundred dollars for that. Sick. Does Leia like them? Oh, she does. Okay. Why did I want to become a farmer? I want to make a ton of money. Okay, farmers make money, but they have it all in, like, equity. Um, it's more real than living in the city to follow in my grandfather's footsteps. I wanted to escape my old life. I'm going to go for real. Pretty much the same reason I came here too. What if you said money? Would she also be like, pretty much the same reason I came? Fudge. Another flower? Can I give it to like Louis? Mr. Louis? He's not home. Sugar. Anyone over here? Anyone at the beach maybe? Oh, Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. Cringe. He's kind of new to this town. Cringe, Elliot hates me, it's fine. I have to donate a clam. I've already donated a clam. I know, I'm annoying, and I can't make my mind up. What I'm going to go do is I'm going to go grab the coral and sea urchin and the rubbish from over here. You guys are probably like, ooh, how'd she know? Well, I have a few hundred hours in this game. Give me the swede. Okay. Guys, are you guys excited for Halloween? Can I be honest? We bought like a 50 pack of candy because we don't get too many kids in our neighborhood. Last year we got like three. And so we were like, oh, 50 will be more than enough. And then kids can take like multiples and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, I may have eaten the entire box in like three days. Um, I don't really have self-control. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. I can also only catch one more fish. But yes, in reality, I lack self-control. I don't like saying no to myself. It's very challenging for me. Ah, oh, shoot. Whoop. Can I put this on my rod yet? No. Okay, let's go sell whatever I can sell. Hi, Willy. I can sell you, 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 and you. Can I get the better pole? I can. Yay. Okay. Taking up like 
Fifteen percent of my inventory space. That's fine. Fishing rods. Whoop. Oops. We can do it. Easy peasy. That was so easy. Perfect. Um, how are you guys doing with your Halloween candy? I also feel like we, for years now at this point, honestly, we have run out of things to watch on TV. And then you pull up Netflix and you're like, oh, the top 10, people are watching it. It must be good, right? And then you realize that every other, like, human being who's, like, at the same stage as us of, like, stability, you have a full-time job, but maybe don't have kids or other responsibilities yet, is also out of things to watch on TV. Because everything in the top 10 on Netflix, both in the moody movies and the TV shows, honestly, 90% of the time is rubbish. Now, am I saying I don't partake in the rubbish? No. Did I watch the entire new season of Love is Blind, like, almost immediately after it came out? Yeah, of course I did. But I still also want better TV to come out. Um, with that, we've kind of also exhausted all the options of, like, oh, these are really good movies, these are really good shows, these are really good animes, these are things you should touch base on. And now oh, I didn't get the treasure chest because I was distracted. Um, now I have super exhausted everything. Music to listen to, TV to watch. There was a car outside, I don't know if you could hear it. It might have been a motorcycle, but it sounded like the, like, woo sound. So, it's fine. Casually, but fine. I'm really bad at, like, rapid task switching, multitasking, etc. If that is not, like, apparent. Like, ungodly clear. But at the end of the day, honestly, I'd rather keep the conversation going, even if it's just with myself. Also, okay, can we, like, talk about how atrocious is trying to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace? As you may know, we got married, like, God, like a month and a half ago now. But I've been trying to sell, like, all of, you know, the decor and random various items, like a card box, cash box, bartending equipment... All the stuff, the little things you need for a wedding. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, some of it I got off Facebook Marketplace, some I got new. May as well not go to waste, right? Um, oh my gosh. When something costs like $10 and somebody's like, yeah, but would you say take $7.98 for it? And you're like, bro, it's like $2. I don't care. Like, why are you trying to haggle me? Because at the end of the day, yeah, I don't care. I will take $7.98. It is really annoying that you're going to give me like... I'm gonna have to give you like two pennies of change. Especially because pennies don't even exist in Canada anymore. Like, come on, I gotta pull that stuff out of my absolute gross pickle jar. Oh, he's gonna get mad at me. My pickle jar of change from like 22 years ago. But it's fine. I will, I will do it. But it's also just the, oh my gosh, like the constant back and forth of like, also I can't sell my fish now because I wasn't paying attention at the time. Um, constant back and forth with people and trying to schedule something it's not like walking into a store and just being like I should have talked to Lily as well um and not just walking into a store and being like oh I can like buy this off the shelf go home and have it it's like okay but like when works best for you when can we coordinate this yada yada he's not done I don't know why I came over here it's kind of an ordeal and at this point 90% of the things I'm trying to sell that I haven't already sold it's not worth it anymore I'd rather just donate it. Um, but yeah, like if you are trying to buy things on Facebook Marketplace, bless you. Bless you if you are like easy to work with and have a flexible jewel because it helps so much. But I guess also my recommendation is like, <laughs> how much is something worth to you? Yeah, if it's a car, I kind of get it. Do I have to donate any of these? If it's a car, I totally get it. But in reality, it's kind of just like not worth it. Do, do, do. But I'm also biased because maybe I'm a little burnt out because I'm also trying to sell like quite a few different items rather than like, you know, one or two things. Uh, oh, I should have put the dandelion in here. Hey, if I have these. But it's fine. It's totally fine. And it's fine to like try to haggle and negotiate. And I'm not saying I don't do that. If I'm buying a nice pair of dress pants that are like 150 bucks and they have them like regular and they have them priced at 140, 
probably don't really want to pay 150 or 140 dollars for them i might try to haggle down to like let's say 120 or whatever i value the pants at but i don't know to me it's like bro it's two dollars it's two dollars but I guess also I shouldn't just assume people's financial standing because maybe people are a little more hard done by than I'm giving them credit for and that $2 is actually like huge in the long run. I guess also how much are you like buying things on Facebook Marketplace? If you're doing that a lot and you're saving $2 on every item, I'm sure over time it does add up. But again, to me, bro, it's just $2. <laughs> We're squeebing. These salmon berries are worth like actual trash and I am a little disappointed. Hello, possibly Kelsey. How are you doing? How has your day been? I guess like maybe your day's just starting depending where you live, but we're playing some Stardew. We're, buying, we're ranting about like if you've ever tried to sell something on Facebook Marketplace, even I will say even the cars, like even if it's a big item, again, the haggling cause does get a little annoying sometimes and the people can be wild. People can just be a little spoicy, but my good gosh, I am a little burnt out of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, did I get the salmon berries from over here? Again, is it worth it to me? I don't know, cause they're not worth that much, but like it's, we're trying, we're doing the best. We got that, okay, yep. I really just also need enough money to afford the backpack upgrade because honey, we are living like a pleb. We are living like a sad little peasant in this sad little, well, the town's actually not that sad, but I'm sad in the town because I don't have a backpack. I can carry a maximum of 12 items. It is quite disappointing to say the least. Okay, get me back home. Maybe we have enough energy to cut down like a single tree and that would be nice. I can put my extra fishing rod back in. Oh, progress, we've made great progress today. Hopefully we've made some money. We sold some fish. Get those out of here. Axe, okay, let's go cut down a tree. Any trees with like weird growth that I may need to get out of the vey? Not seeing any. I'm not even seeing like any trees to be honest. What have I done? I've cut them all. Get out of here. Do, 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 do. Intrigued at what I was talking about? Oh my god, see? Facebook Marketplace, it gets people riled up. I'm telling you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Also, like, wedding stuff. Bless up. If you can find, you can find, like, almost anything required for a wedding on Facebook Marketplace. Again, if you are going to buy things, please be the nice Facebook Marketplace person that's just like, I will pay whatever you're asking or close to. Um, if they say no to whatever you offer, if you are trying to haggle, don't be rude. People are really like, rude. If I'm like, nah, I don't, you know, I'm selling a $200 coat that I paid $700 for. And they're like, will you take $22? And you're like, no, nah, I don't think I will. And they get mad at you. It is a little disheartening. <laughs> You know, I'm just a dude. I'm just trying to live my life. Um, but yes, and stuff. You can find like cute fairy lights. You can find like flameless candles. You can find pillar candles. You can actually find live florals if somebody's selling their florals like right after their wedding and maybe want to recoup some of the costs and you're not too picky about color or etc. You can actually find good florals. Um, you can find like faux florals like eucalyptus leaves because that's really in right now. You can find like charger plates. You can also rent all the stuff. You don't really have to buy it. Pretty much everything we bought for our wedding was stuff that we could use down the line. Like I wanted our altar to have, what did it record? I wanted our altar to have like a cowhide rug. So I bought one off of like Wayfair. And then I wanted like cute chairs for our like head table. And I bought those. Cause I was like, oh, they're actually sitting in my office like right behind me now. Um, beautiful and sunny. Can it gosh darn rain, please? Hi neighbor, or dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling well and settled into your new home. I am writing to let you know that Pierre's store is selling fertilizers, oh bougie. Why don't you swing by and see if you can afford a few dozen boxes or so? Honey, I can't even afford your backpack. Your prices are a little overrated, but I guess maybe I'm just like somebody who's trying to make ends meet at this point. I'm just trying to get my farm up off the ground. People are me I gotta upgrade my house so I can have a kitchen. Like I'm such a, 
a little peasant in my little shack that I don't even have a kitchen? I can't even cook? Bro, I don't even have running water? Do you see a bathroom in this place? Absolutely not. And you think I can buy fertilizer? Honestly, I probably will because... Hmm, am I going to be able to? I was going to say, if things develop... Also, am I dumb? Is it not cauliflower, it's just parsnips? This whole time. This whole time. I spent all my money on cauliflower. And it's freaking parsnips. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we will recoup the cost. Parsnips grow in something like four days or something. As long as it's like the 23rd or sooner, we will be fine. Nobody caught that? Nobody was like, Mel, what are you doing? Nobody, nobody out here being like, honey, honey. Just look. Just like luck. It's fine. It's fine. Again, parsnips grow really fast, so we'll be able to. I think the far left row. It's been a like two weeks since I played this. Uh, speaking of which, so we did like a mini vacation as our honeymoon, but I was like, I'm a big fan of the delayed honeymoon. Like if you were present, and I'll go through the whole rundown of things for our wedding. Again, happened like a month and a half ago now, but. I need to talk about it. I guess moment of my life, not actually. But we, what happened? We did everything a little bit different. And for me, we actually eloped. We did photography like a month early. We got married in our living room by eloping. There was only like six of us present. And then about a week later, we did our reception. And this for us was really nice because we didn't have to do all the romantic things and do our vows. Another another hydrate mm. didn't have to do our vows in front of people which props to you if you're brave enough to do that i don't feel comfortable professing my love in front of my parents which is funny because we kind of did but we did our vows privately the morning before our ceremony so like literally the only person that heard it was me and my significant other but all of that also I need it to rain because I need, not that. Is it this? No. No. I need you. I need it to rain because I need this SOB. I need a walleye, which only rain spawns when it's raining in spring or fall. But we did our whole wedding thing over like a month and it was great it was a little exhausting but for me it was really nice because instead of trying to cram everything in a day that's going to be very overwhelming we got to spread it out and all these pivotal memories were spent like over an extended period of time so like after our ceremony we went out for dinner at a restaurant with our parents and really got to enjoy the moment of like wow we're married and like we get to do this instead of being like now you're going right into cocktail hour and photos now you're going right into your reception it's go 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 which is funny because we still ran out of time setting up for the reception but my golly i don't even know how i got on this topic oh but we did a mini moon i'm a big fan of like breaking things up so that you have these memories rather than having like one major big moment of a day we have like a lot of smaller days and that goes the same for our honeymoon. Our honeymoon's not till next year. Also gives us time to like get settled back into work and everything and then also recoup some of the money that we spent on the reception because my good golly, our wedding's expensive. But we did a mini moon to Phoenix. I will say Phoenix is kind of a cool place. Restaurants are really cool. We got some really good cocktails. My gosh. Are chicken nuggets cheap in the states like you're living in 2035 like chicken nuggets in canada are so expensive like they are not worth it it's like for a six-piece mcnugget meal you're gonna be paying like 16 bucks canadian for like a medium fry a medium drink and a six nugget which is like even for my petite little butt not even enough food so honestly, I don't know, but like when we were in Phoenix, you can get 15 or sorry, 40 nuggets, not 15, 40 McNuggets, 20 a person and two large fries for $15 American. That's like 18 bucks Canadian. 
honey, honey. I gorged myself on McDonald's. I like didn't eat McDonald's for like two years. It's like 3000 calories. Oh gosh. Yeah. Look, 3000 calories is double my daily intake. If I want to like maintain my weight and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I did almost like make myself vom twice, but it's fine. I do love McNuggets. I will say that was like, unfortunately, but also kind of fortunately, the biggest highlight of the trip. We also, on one of our last nights, we saw like um, open mic improv night. It was really cool. It was really fun, but they were like, they came up to me and put me on the spot. And if it wasn't clear, I'm a little bit introverted. And they were like, what was the last thing you bought at Target? And I was like, oh, I'm Canadian and I've never been to Target. And they were like, oh, ha ha, so funny. And walked away and I was like, bless up that you did not extend that conversation. Thank you for not asking me how I was Canadian, why I was in Phoenix. Also, how are you Canadian? I was born in Canada. I got like, okay, bless up. But like, what are you doing in Phoenix? Why are you here? Are you a snowbird? Do you own a house? <laughs> Honey, I wish I could own a house in Phoenix. I probably could if I just decided to do it and got a job in the States, seeing as like housing prices there are a lot cheaper than where we live, but still houses are, they're expensive. And I'm just a sad, poor little researcher, little scientist. But yes, bless up on the, oh my bae, bless up on the McNuggies. I'm all about that. I will say, I feel like they're like, okay, something I did miss about Canada. Now you want chicken nuggets. Honestly, we could do it, but it's going to cost us like $50 Canadian because chicken nuggets in Canada are insanely expensive. Um, I will say something I did miss about Canada, not like your generic things, not like your like, oh, Caesar cocktails, ha ha ha, or vinegar on fries. Cause that's like not a thing in the States. No. What did I miss? Or poutines. Oh, I did miss poutines. What did I miss the most? that fast food chains in Canada serve breakfast all day. Every single one of them. A&W, A&W Canada, that is like so good. Um, A&W serves fast food all day or breakfast all day. McDonald's serves breakfast all day. Burger King, I'm pretty sure serves breakfast, breakfast all day. Wendy's is breakfast all day. If they even have breakfast, I don't even know. Subway has breakfast all day. Everything has breakfast all day. I think Canadians just really like breakfast. But man, some, oh uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Sometimes it's like 2 p.m. and you're just like, I want a McGriddle. Nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But apparently, yes, there is something wrong with that. Maybe you're not allowed to do, okay, I'm really bad at this. Maybe you're not allowed to do that. And you know, it got me because it was like 11.30 a.m. And I was craving like a breakfast burrito from McDonald's cause like bless up again. We went there because it's so cheap and I have no shame about it. But man, it was too late to get a breakfast burrito. Fine, fine. But I feel like that's one of those things that the only reason I miss it is because we have it. Because I can go to Tim Hortons and get like a farmer's wrap at any time in the day and be like, this is so good. Except not because like Tim Hortons is kind of the worst about inconsistent food. I used to, when I was in like my first and second year of university, I used to go to Tim Hortons like every morning for a coffee and a English muffin sandwich. Cause like, I just, I was like 18 and incapable of cooking. Honestly, I'm 28 and incapable of cooking, but yeah, like I would go there every morning and I swear to freaking God, this didn't happen once. It happened at least twice where I would order a sausage English muffin, which is sausage, cheese, egg, and an English muffin. That's it. And I would get a literal, just plain English muffin or an English muffin with just like cheese on it. Like no egg, no sausage, nothing. How? How do you forget 60% of the sandwich? Like, how? <laughs> And then things like the just complete inconsistency, like the whole iced coffee thing where you're like, well, I know my iced coffee is going to be the wrong color. It's, it's been so long since I've had a good iced coffee from like a fast food chain. 
But you know, in my heart, I know it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. So I've been waiting and I still order them. But it's been so long. It's been so long. But yes, I like, man, I used to go to Tim Hortons like religiously. Maybe just cause like there was one on campus and like all this stuff, but like it has been, oops. It has been a while. It has been a while. Especially because, like, I feel like when I road trip, I always go to, like, Tim Hortons. Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, when I road trip, I'd always go to Tim Hortons. But I don't anymore because I just don't road trip. I used to commute between, like, a city that's, like, two hours, two and a half hours away from where I live. And so, oh, yeah, you stop at Tim Hortons, you get your iced coffee, you get your, like breakfast wrap and then you stop halfway through at a Tim Hortons because you got to use the washroom because I can't go like an hour without using the washroom but because I don't do that I never think to like go to Tim Hortons anymore I also don't eat breakfast which is like not great and so I just make my coffee at home and then commute to work can I eat a Swede I can eat a Swede I just eat, like, make my coffee at home, commute my way to work. It's also harder because, like, I have Invisalign. And you can't consume, like, literally anything except water when you have Invisalign. Which is, like, not great. And so, like, I can't, you know, have my coffee on my way to work. I have to, like, designate a specific time where I take out my Invisalign because you can only have it out max two hours a day, which sounds like a lot. But it takes me, like, an hour to drink my coffee and an hour to eat dinner. So... I'm just kind of SOL. I didn't even read what he said. Hello? I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. That was very heartfelt. <laughs> what? <laughs> so my mom won't let me have gummies today. Honestly, just wait till you're an adult and you have gummies every day, unnecessarily, and your husband judges you. Nice makeup. Oh wait, you aren't even wearing any. Bro, how do I even have good skin? Do you think I have good skin? Like routine, I don't even have running water in my house. Like, can I even put sunscreen on? When's the last time I showered? Like, these are questions that need answers. How bad do you think my Stardew Valley character smells? Oh shoot, I gotta come back. Given that, well, this won't sell for anything. I'm not coming back. I'm just gonna get it now. Given that they literally have never showered and they work from like 6 a.m. to like 11 p.m. every single day. They don't even get a full eight hours of sleep. Honestly, like I would be dead. I'm very much, oh, annoying. I'm very much somebody who, if I don't get my required amount of sleep, I am a Grumposaurus Rex. Also, if I don't have my coffee by a certain time in the morning, this is really annoying because my inventory is full. I need to make a second chest. Do I have wood? I do have wood. Can a chest fit up here? How rude. How rude. How rude. Okay. We're going to put a chest over here. This will be my tool chest, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave this as my tool chest, actually. I get stuff that I don't need on hand regularly. So, different crops. Seeds. That. Oh, shoot. I will put that in there. I'll put this in there. You can stay in there. Um, beans. I need to go to Gunther pretty bad, hey? Anything else I can take out of here? Oh, I have 60 bait. Whoop. And then last check, just in case. I think everything... Oh, Chubb. I think... Oh, and there's potatoes. Uh, okay. I might be blind. Casually blind. Okay. I do see things on my farm to harvest as well. Including this. And there's a leak down there. I don't want to go to bed at 6.30pm, bro. I'm not ready for that commitment. I haven't worked that hard. I am a little exhausted, but I haven't worked that hard. I haven't worked that hard. It's like a different oh, horse rad. Sweet. Sweet. 
Nothing? Nope. Whoop. Salmon berries. Ooh, we're getting two now, which is nice. When you shake the bus. Bush. Bus. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your bushes. Get the salmon. Okay. Okay. There it is. Ooh, this tree also needs to be cut down because of this. But Another day, another dollar. That's a different day problem. Thank you. Um, let's go next door. Just make sure there isn't any salmon berries that I missed. Maybe in the little channel area. Do we have... Do we have to get an axe? Yes. Okay. So we do have to go down. Downtown. Um, down to the other forest briefly at some point to go get that. So maybe tomorrow, I think the weather said it was going to be sunny because I haven't seen rain in the forecast in a hot minute. Um, tomorrow we go get that. Yeah. And then we just do a whole foraging day. I think that's what it said. Yes. Okay. 8.40 is a reasonable bedtime. 8.40 is okay. 8.40 is okay. Ooh. Okay, this is like the easy one, clearly. I don't care about crab pots, per se. Yes. Yay. 500 bucks, not great, but not the worst, not the worst. Slowly but surely, hopefully we can afford a backpack now. Maybe I go to Pierre and see if I can get the back. I can definitely get the backpack today. I think it's $2,500. Oh, I got a water. What is your favorite crop in Stardew? Because I was thinking about this today. I was like, I really like the design of the melon. I don't know why. The blueberries are also kind of cute. You're probably like, bro, how do you know? Look. Look. I like to research things. I like to make sure I know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. I absolutely do not. I'm kind of just like an information dumper. Like I really like to like, it comes off as like know it all and that's fine, I don't really care. I mean, I do care a little bit. I don't want people to like be like, oh my God, you're so annoying. But like at the end of the day, you're gonna think what you're gonna think, so I don't really care. But I am a little know it all because I really just like to information dump and be like, I know so much about, is that water? Yeah, about every topic ever. Because, like, I feel like if I know something, I should be sharing this information. Is this flashing at me? No. It should be, like, common knowledge. Be like, but also I'm like, most people don't actually care to learn more things. Whereas I'm like, I want to keep learning forever. Why do you think I have, like, a high-level education? Because I'm kind of a big old... Sag. Big old weeby nerd. Okay, get in here. Sleep. Okay. We go down, let's go down. Let's get these salmon berries. Let's go down to the forest, get all the forage in the forest, then come up through the town to get the backpack from Pierre. Maybe sell some of our forage. Um, Yas, Yas Queen. I need a scythe. Do, 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 do. Got all this. Also, like, I'm a big berry fan. I don't know what salmon berry is. I will say, like, a Saskatoon berry, Hascat berry, maybe my least favorite. They're kind of like a blackberry. Oh my god, I need, a, I need a magnet ring. Holy good golly. I didn't want the fiber, but here we are. But I love like a raspberry. I can get down with a strawberry. I can get down with a blackberry, not my fave fave. I like a blueberry, even a tart blueberry. I can like, I can frick with. Just gotta be in the mood. Thank you. Oh, I got rid of our bop. Oh, now we're on the sad forest music that is just ambiance. I'm stuck. SOS. That was absolutely freaking rude. Okay, 
Thank you. I want to come back, but like, if they just keep being ready to harvest over here. Help. Okay, now we go back. Do, 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 do. Best song though, Summer Bop Forever. Summer Kids Bop 2016. Okay, sweep. You guys are on worm watch, right? I haven't passed any worms that I have not been paying attention to. We know that my peripheral vision and my whole like paying attention to literally anything ever is like subpar, so I would need assistance. I need all the assistance. Okay. Sorry, I had to use the opposite arm to do something on my other computer. Also, speaking of computers, like, my god, I want to play City Skylines 2 so bad. I want it so bad. So bad. Like, I'm going to die if I don't get it, even though it's $70, and again, I am a poor, sad little boy. But I don't think my computer can run it, and I don't think even if my computer can run it, my computer can stream. And that is now exacerbated because I think it's like a little unpolished with release, but fair enough. Like they want their like community base to test it out and that's okay. But man, I watched it crash on like multiple streamers today. And I was like, oh, I definitely like with my computer, like already struggling to run it, the crashing, it's not gonna be good. Like it is not gonna be good. Also there's her ax. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't even know how much they sell for. I just know it sells for like trash. X. Yep, thank you. No, we even need the backpack upgrade. Look, our inventory's like not even full. It's got 84 singular berries. Hi, Leia. Thank you. Sometimes I think it's impossible to live without destroying nature in some way. Ooh, that's a little spicy of a topic for a cozy little Thursday night stream. Like, Leia, putting it on heavy today. Like, are you wrong? I don't think so. I kind of agree with you, but like, I don't really want to think about these existential crises today. I'm not really in the mood for that. <laughs> Move it. Just move back briefly. Thank you. Anyone around? No? Should, we... Should talk to people. Okay, I tried. I tried my absolute darndest. Oh. The only thing I like about this town is the be Oh, I thought she said the bench. She must have said the beach, right? Good day to play catch. If you do, do, can I be rude? Okay, I'm cut out for catch, but like f you. I'm probably more fit than you, bro. I literally farm. Granny. Huh. Oh, the good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. How do you do an old lady voice? Ooh. The good old mayor. Put me in charge of the town's gardens. I don't know what that- there was an accent in there. Can't tell you what it was. I'm really bad at accents. Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Did I give him something? Is that why he dot dot dotted me? Hi Caroline. Here. Are you sure? Yeah. You take it. Oh, Pierre's is gonna close! What am I doing? I'm a mess! Ah! Hello, Louise? Louise? Hmm, tax collection, spring festivals, expenses. Oh, yes, what can I do for you? I'm. Another day, another dollar, another day, another day without the backpack, bro fine it's a fine casually fine the worst is like i was like oh um 
Robin will be open on Tuesdays because or on Wednesdays because Tuesdays when they work out and then I think she stands in front of her thing after so like even if you're there after they close but yeah gosh will you like this thanks okay she's neutral on Tuesdays and Thursdays I work at Harvey's clinic he says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes absolutely haywire look if that happens like ooh, you better pray you're not the one under procedure at the time the doctor I work for loves telling a story about how that actually happened to him. How, like, the medical equipment, he had a procedure done, and he had to go in for, like, emergency surgery and was, like, unable to work for, like, something like a month. And he's like, I would walk to my office with my, my, um, IV stand. And I'm like, look, that's not good. But bless you for trying. Hey, you got my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with another one I was using. Look, that axe must have been hella dull if it's not able to get through the wood, honey. There you go. Okay, that was my talking to you. Okay. What do you got for sale? Shop. Oh! I want a Christmas tree. <laughs> do you guys know what window I have in my house? Is it this one? Because I'd like to get another one if it is. Me trees. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm. Well, I wouldn't call them interesting. They're just kind of plants. Oh, I could have given Robin the daffodil in my inventory. Would have been nice. Do you think um, Linus would like a, a daffodil? Oh, there's Robin. I could have given it to her a second time. This is a great gift. There you go. I don't know you that well, so I don't trust you. That's okay. You gotta talk to build a friendship. You gotta talk to build that relationship, honey buns. Ooh, give me a leak also. Give me 250. Oh my god, I earned $15,000. Then why do I only have $4,300 in my inventory? Rest in peace. You need to, what is it? Spend money to make money. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hi, Masa. Give me them berries. My bush don't wiggle wiggle. It's gone. Okay. That was good. I see some worms. Also something we have to do is we have to go to Gunther and um, Clint, the blacksmith. Um... Do I have horse rads in here? No. I think, mm, let's do two. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Look, if these are only worth one, I'm gonna be really upset that I did all that work for 126 gold. I could have gone to the beach, in fact I should have, but I'm going to actually cut down some trees on my farm instead. Having the extra wood is always a like a nice to have. Especially I always run out of wood like really fast. So we'll see. Make sure all these other trees are able to grow. I see the one on the right is too close to that in-ground acorn. I don't know if you're someone that like grew up with like maple trees, but like I always thought of like the oh, the maple seeds as little propellers because they're really cute when they like when they fall they do a little twirly thing. Like let's see if I can find a maple seed. This one hopefully will have one. And you can see what I mean. But they actually have two wings. It's two seeds per stick, so they're actually like a little like helicopter propeller as they fall. There's one. Like see what I mean? And then there's like a stick, and then there's another one, and they're like a little helicopter. Maybe I'm just like too creative of a child and you're all like, what are you talking about, bro? And like, fair enough, I get it. I 
have the mo my money don't jiggle jiggle. It's gone. Like meme stuck in my head now. I blame all of you for this. No forage? No forage. Cool. Cool. Ooh, that's like a little close. Also, let's plant that. And then plant this one over here. There you go. Gold. Golden. We have a lot of sap, so I'm just going to sell this. I think this actually only sells for $1 a thing, but it's fine. Um, beyond that, 10 p.m., I think it's sleepy time. Did we check the TV? It's going to be clear and sunny. Of course, fortune teller. They're very happy today. Bless up. Coleslaw. I already know how to cook coleslaw, apparently. Hi, Masa. Whew, okay. How are we doing? Seems like financially we're doing okay. 952 is like not too bad. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to flip my recording. So give me one quick sec here.